All right, so we've got one function that controls the heading of the robot. The speed is always going to be the same, the value that we set at the beginning of 50. If we want to have a second function that controls the robot speed with a joystick, we're going to need to write that up here above the task main. So I'm going to declare a new procedure and call this set robot speed. Again, there's no input value, so I can just put open and close parentheses. I'm going to do an open and close bracket. And inside here is where I'm going to put my code. It'll be very similar because I'm going to be using the joystick values, but in this case, I'll use the joystick values for the right joystick. So I'll use the right joystick as kind of a, uh, a gas pedal. Uh, when I step on it and go forward with the uh, joystick, the robot will go faster. Um, when I pull it back, uh, the robot will go slower. So I'll show you how I'm doing this. I'm going to do an if statement. If get joystick value, in this case channel D, that's the up and down channel for the right joystick on a VEX IQ controller. If get joystick value channel D is greater than 90, then I want to set the speed equal to a maximum speed value, in this case 126. There may be different numbers for your robot. I think it's around 126, 129. All right, that's going to change the speed variable to 126 as the uh, as the value, and replace the 50 that we declared it initially, so that whenever we use the joystick on the left side, now it's going to go much much faster, as long as I'm holding channel D, the channel D part of the joystick up. Else if get joystick value for channel D less than negative 90, so I'm holding it, the joystick down, we're going to actually have a slower speed. So open and close brackets inside, we're going to set the speed value to something very slow, maybe 30. You can experiment with different values for the speeds, but here is our slow value at 30. All right. And then else, if we're not touching that joystick or we're just not touching it, touching it enough to make it go all the way up or down, then let's get that speed back to the default of 50. Okay. So now I've got a new procedure that I can call, a new function that I can call in the main part of our code, set robot speed. So over and over again this loop will happen and the heading will be found from the joystick on the left side and the speed will be determined by the joystick on the right side. Again if you just have motor 1 and motor 6 plugged in on your robot you can test this code out just as it is. Otherwise, go to motor and sensor setup. And in motors, you need to set up and name all the motors that are plugged in. Same thing with any sensors that you have plugged in. This at the top has to match what you've got plugged in on your robot brain or the code will not work.